So I'm up here at my Atamoya tree, and one thing I've noticed that, so I live in a very dry climate. So you can see my hill, it's pretty dry. So what I've been doing is building these planters and backfilling it with quality soil. And I'm mostly um, irrigating, you know, close to the trees because we are under water restrictions and all that because, you know, there's a drought. Uh, but one thing I've noticed is anytime I water, okay, let pull, let's pull it back, I don't know if you can see, I get ants, ants all over the place. Um, ants like water, right? <laughs> the place is dry, you water a little bit, and you're going to get ants. Um, so I've tried doing the uh, some different approaches. I've tried dumping hot water where I think the ant colony is. I've tried um, the what the cornmeal approach, and I still get ants. So today I've got a new approach. This time I'm bringing biology on my side. So I have lots of ants, right? I also have gnats. Um, there's it's it's crazy. So here's my solution. I am fighting biology with biology. My package just arrived. It's a nice cloudy morning, which is rare in California. I got nematodes. <laughs> so I got beneficial nematodes. Um, cold packs, so they stay cold. Uh, there are different kinds of nematodes. So nematodes, um, some nematodes attack some insects and some attack others. Um, I've got gnats and I've got ants. Um, I just ordered the pack of all three. So the plenty pack, the assorted pack. So um, yeah, so we're gonna put in uh, beneficial nematodes. Um, yeah, so here we go. So, okay, keep refrigerated, right? The nematodes are in a dispersible medium, right? So, let's see. Uh, looks like there's a test. Water carrier, large areas, test your sprayer. Yeah, right. Um, doo -doo -doo. Fill your sprayer, shake and spray. Keep your soil moist for two weeks. Okay. So here we go. You know what? We're just gonna put them in the sprayer. We're gonna spray them. <laughs> How about that? So like I said, I've got three different types of nematodes. Um, they're in this like a powder. So this is like a carrier, a dispersant, I imagine, to help dissolve or some food or something, I don't know. Uh, it's probably just a carrier. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend I know what the difference is between these, but they, they do look a little bit different. This one's a little powderier. <laughs> so, so here's what we're using. We're using Steiner, Steiner Nema Carpocopse. Steiner Nema Carpocopse. We're using Heterohabditis bacteriophora, the blue one. And then we're using Steiner Nama Feltie, the uh, green one. <laughs> so yeah, so I think what we're gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna put these in water and I'm just gonna go spray them around the hill. Um, I don't know if there's, I don't necessarily see that there's a particular ratio you're supposed to use. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some filtered water and I'm going to put them in my sprayer and I'm gonna spray them. So I'm gonna put these uh, nematodes in water, um, but one thing, and I don't know if this really matters a whole lot, but you know, I, I try not to use uh, city water as much as possible. So, because we have a lot of chlorine and you know, we're in Southern California and the water is just not good. Um, so I use one of these uh, uh, water purifiers whenever I go out and water the plants. Um, I do have drip irrigation, which doesn't run through one of these, but I'm kind of working on that. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to go suspend these, um, some, spend these nematodes in some, in some garden pure water. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so I'm going to put my nematodes in a sprayer. I'm just going to use one of these um, big sprayers. So this is a two-gallon sprayer. Um, you know, I'm not sure how much 
I'm supposed to suspend these in, but I'm just gonna put it in a gallon. Um, I think if I get a little bit more, it might be a little bit better than a little bit less, because that way I can disperse it more, more broadly. I don't know. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to put these in my sprayer. Like I said, I used, um, I used filtered water. Um, that's, I just don't know if it's a good idea to put the nematodes in chlorine. Uh, can't be that good, right? I mean, probably better to use some sort of filtered water. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna mix them all. I hope they're all friends. And I'm gonna put them in and I'm just gonna stir them up. And then we're just gonna go spray them, right? <laughs> just like that. And there's the last one. Yo, got three different types of nematodes, and now uh, let's go spray them. Did you see my video where I did the planting of my, um, or the rooting of my cut vines? Well, look, I've got gnats all over these things. Uh, it might be because it's a little bit too damp, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit damp because I'm trying to get some roots to form. So, uh, take this, gnats, nematodes. Here's another one. Nematodes. Not sure how much I have to spray here, uh, but I have a gallon of them. Of course, I got a lot to do. Oh, here, just in case you're trying to attack my recent plumeria cuttings. Nematodes. Here's some more. This is the one I'm going to give to old buddy Walt. Walt's going to get some nematodes. Nematodes. More nematodes. Take that. These are my, uh, what are these? Uh, dragon fruit. Three different types of dragon fruit. Nematodes. Everything I keep over here gets ants in it because it's right on the ground. And it's, you know, it's, well, it's right on the ground. And this area is susceptible to ants. So after I spray, I'm going to come back through and just kind of spray the ground all over, over here too. Die. Lemon grass. Cool. All right, let's go do the trees. All right, I just pulled some mulch back from my lemon tree and uh, get them some nematodes. So I think what I'm going to do with the trees is I'm going to pull the mulch back, then I'm going to spray them, and then I'll recover the mulch, or put the mulch back on top, so they don't have to migrate through the mulch as well. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Check it out. So this is my olive tree, and I'm actually getting flowers this year. I got this olive tree, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so. I still have it in a pot. I haven't quite gotten to the ground yet. Uh, but this is my first time I'm going to get flowers. So it looks like I might actually get some olives. But I know there are ants in this pot all the time, so more nematodes. So with the nematodes, I want to keep agitating it uh, to keep them in suspension. And again, I'm not sure how, uh, how many I have in my sprayer, but I actually ordered enough for 3,200 square feet. So I figured if I hit the nematodes hard, on areas that were that had a lot of ants um, it was probably a better idea to order a little bit more rather than a little bit less cool let's keep going yeah so my original plan was to spray the nematodes and then come back and spray everything with some water but looking around I think uh, some of my spots are a little dry and it's supposed to stay damp so I'm gonna modify my technique a little and I'm just gonna spray it down a little bit with my filtered water hose and then uh, come over top with nematodes and then maybe give them a splash on top. All right, let's keep going. Uh-huh, see? So this is the peach tree that I just planted. I don't know if you saw that video. But yeah, I just pulled the mulch back. Tons of ants. Ants all over the place. Jeez. Man, I just can't keep control of these things. They're all over. So, uh, like I said, I tried the other techniques where I um, did the cornmeal and all that. It didn't seem to be working very well for me. So, uh, all right, let's moisten it down, give them some nematodes, and come back with a little shower. 
Okay, so we're putting down some nematodes. You know, one thing I learned when I was researching them is that there are different kinds of nematodes. Some, um, in addition to attacking different types of pests, some will sort of stay, stay where you spray them, I guess, and not go very far. And then some are actually hunting nematodes that go and actually, actually go out and actually hunt. So uh, we've got both kinds because we didn't know what kind we really needed and we have different types of ants and things so we just got the mixture so uh, hopefully those that we need will thrive and take this ants cool let's keep going hey check it out we're at my etamoya tree so I don't know if you saw my video uh, a week or two ago about where I had some new growth started well it's really it's really coming on strong it looks good so uh, yeah the etamoya tree is looking good uh, but of course it's got ants, so uh, sorry about the shadow. Uh, so we're gonna hit this one as well. <laughs> so as I'm looking around, you know, I'm treating nematodes at each one of my plants, and I'm really trying hard not to make this an update video, because well, that's a topic for another day. This is a nematode video, but uh, hey, check a look, take a look at my ruby seedless. I went back and I pruned this back a little bit more. Uh, so I think with this one, I'm gonna grow this up this up and the back up and then maybe this front one see what see how that goes um, so the idea here is I'm going to grow up probably four different trunks and then branch it do head pruning off each of the four trunks so that's gonna be the plan on that one yeah so that's what we're gonna do with that one but I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one too I don't see ants yet but I'm sure they're coming yeah, so uh, there we go. I went through, I put my nematodes around the uh, base of the trees. Um, I ran out fairly quickly, so I think, I don't know if my concentration was way too concentrated, or I don't know. I don't know. So I ran out a little bit quick, but um, you know, whatever. So I put them down at the base of my trees. I went through, I tried to put them in my potted plants, especially where I'd seen ants before, and I hit pretty hard. I hit pretty hard where I saw the uh, where the sprinkler lines were because that's where the ants mostly are next to the water. Um, yeah, so there we go. So if you want to see more about my nematodes, uh, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you've done this, if it's been successful for you. Um, I think what I might do is I'm going to monitor these and I might get some more and in a couple weeks I might hit it again. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's my plan so far. Uh, like I said, so if you've done it yourself, uh, leave a comment. Let me know how it's going and what worked for you. Uh, so as you can see, I've got lots of planting still to do on my hill. So feel free, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.